Guys, you gotta mix a little reality in with your imagination to you know, achieve happiness in your life. And you've gotta overcome your programming, which in your case is a 30-year-old television show. I mean, come on. Let me tell you, let me, let me tell you a story. I was jogging one evening around my neighborhood and I came across a, a, a house on fire. And the crowd had gathered and the, and the fire engines hadn't come yet. And uh, the crowd all turned to me and said, oh, look, there's Captain Kirk. And this guy came running over, uh, turned out to be the father. And, and he said, Captain Kirk, Captain Kirk, my, my child's in the burning building. Please, you gotta, you gotta save my kid, please go. So what was I gonna do, argue with him? I was Captain Kirk. So I found myself running into the burning building. Now I'm looking for the kid, and it's the fire and the smoke and the, and the heat. And I, so I got down on my hands and knees because I had seen Rescue 911. And I was crawling around in the, in, in the dark, and the smoke is in my lungs. I'm coughing. I can't see it. And I'm calling kid. Where are you, kid? No kid. Kid's not answering. I'm calling kid. Kid, kid, no kid. And I'm dying. I mean, the flames are burning me up, so I gotta get out of there. So I'm coughing and hacking, the masonry's falling all around me, and I back out, and I get outside. And there I see the kid, playing on the lawn. Kid had jumped out of the window, the father had caught him. He's playing on the grass, the father's fine, he's playing on the grass, the crowd is playing on the grass. The crowd all turn around, looking at this Captain Kirk, they're all laughing at him. I felt like such an idiot. And then I realized, I'm not Captain Kirk, I'm not a hero, I didn't have the kid. I felt absolutely ridiculous. But I had to try.